The North Dakota Game and Fish Department manages about 440 water bodies around the state, from 370,000 acre reservoirs down to half acre ponds. Fishing around the state has never been better for walleye and pike, and in many cases that has a lot to do with fish stocking. Stocking has always been critical in North Dakota because we do not have a lot of natural reproduction, especially of, the, of some of the uh, desirable species, walleye for example. The agency has partnered with the two federal fish hatcheries in North Dakota since the 1960s. Both the Garrison Dam and Valley City National Fish Hatcheries have a history of producing a lot of fish, which is crucial in making sure the state has recreational fisheries. The partnership is still strong today where the Game and Fish Department provides some money for their operations of both of the, the two hatcheries. Game and Fish also provides the manpower for stocking fish across the state, as well as for spawning fish in the spring. Fisheries biologists have also found that trap and transport of fish in the spring has created some great opportunities for kids. To move fish to these community fisheries, uh, small, small ponds for kids to get out especially, uh, catch, catch and release or catch and keep in some cases, but something that's short-term fishery. Power says trap and transport efforts have also contributed to the good perch and bluegill fishing anglers have experienced in the last decade. Chinook salmon and Lake Sakakawea are also maintained by stocking. And that's a fishery that's totally reliant 100% on what we stock into, that, into the water. Uh, we've stocked as few as maybe 100,000 fish, as many as a million. Currently we're stocking 400,000 salmon into Sakakawea. Game and fish biologists also stock trout, muskie, bass, and other species into some lakes across North Dakota, and Power says that has helped to improve fishing in the state for more than 50 years. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.